In this video, I am going to show you how can we create a direct link to a part of your own blog or website and a website that you don't have any control. Here is an example of a direct link that I have pointed to my blog. This link is to a CSS script that I have mentioned in one of my posts. When I click on the link, it takes me to almost the bottom of the page. Let's see how it is done. Log into your blogger.com and go to the particular post and click on edit. Now note down the part in the post where you want to point the link. In my case, I need to point the CSS script. It just after the word difference. Next click on the HTML tab. Look for the CSS script. If you have images and videos, you can see the long codes like this. Now I found the location of the script. I have div tag here in the starting. Inside this div tag, type id equals any word, in inverted commas. I have typed CSS code. The word will be added at the end of the link. If you have some other tags such as h1, h2, etc., you can use the same method. Don't forget to update the post. Open Notepad and type the link to your particular post. At the end just add number followed by the word you typed in the blog HTML code. I have typed CSS code. So this is my final link to that part of my post. Next, we will see how can we create a link to a third-party website. For example, I have opened wikipedia.org and search for the United States. You will get a long list of data. Let's go to somewhere bottom of the page. Okay. Here let's create a link to the number 220 harms Nicole. To do that, we need to see the HTML code of the page. Right click here and click on inspect. Now we have the HTML code for the exact location where we have right clicked. Next look for any ID or anchor in the code. Fortunately, we have an ID word mentioned in the code. Select and copy only the ID word. Open Notepad, add the number key and the copied word at the end of the web URL. Let's check whether the URL worked as expected. Yes, it's worked. It took us into exact location in the page with a selection in it. Please note, if the coder of the website did not mention any ID in the HTML code, then this method not possible.